Oh no. Guys, do you see this? Our harvester ant colony is not doing very well. Last week, I told you that we need to leave them alone so we don't stress them out too much. But this week, I peeked into the test tube and saw this. No broken seeds. Also, no new eggs. Guys, this is not good. The queen hasn't eaten or laid any eggs and I think I know exactly why. It's really sad to see that our harvester and colony isn't doing very well. As you may recall, last week we gave this colony their first food, a bunch of chia seeds. And also as you may recall, they were struggling with opening them. Crushers have no new eggs, no crushed seeds. The situation is exactly the same as last week. But why? Well, I have a few theories. First off, most likely answer is that they simply aren't strong enough to open chia seeds. You see, until majors with huge mandibles specialized for crushing seeds arrive, they may not be strong enough to crush these seeds. Harvester ants accept a bunch of different seeds, but the same way you have to feed soft food to babies until they're able to chew well, same way we have to give these ants small seeds. The problem is that although chia seeds are small, their shell is exceptionally hard. That's why poppy seeds would be even more appropriate to feed this colony. But there's another thing we can try. What if we just crush the seeds before feeding them? It's like making smoothies out of fruits. So I tried using a spoon to crush the seeds, but it was proven to be very difficult. There is no way. Even I'm struggling to open the seeds. So I threw them into the mixer. And this is what I got. It may seem the same at the first look, but these are now way smaller parts, almost like a powder. Ants will surely be able to consume this, right? I only had one hesitation. You see, naturally these ants crush the seeds on their own. It's a second nature to them. So I'm really curious to see what they'll do with this. It's nutritious, but this is like offering a smoothie to a monkey. The question is if their biological instincts will be too strong or if they will accept my offering. But first, we need to clear out what's already in the test tube. Okay, here we go. Here's the plan. First, I'll use a toothpick to get the seeds that are already in the test tube out. Then I'll get in the crushed ones. Okay, I can't really get all the seeds out. The colony is already really stressed. I don't want to get too close to them. They don't appreciate a giant wooden stick poking into their home. So I'll unfortunately need to leave some seeds in. Now we need to get the crushed ones in. Alright, I got some in, but most is on the floor. The queen is already checking it out. Okay. These are some good signs. No way, they are already bringing them back home. Okay, they don't appreciate my presence. Let's leave them and check back later. A few hours later, I saw this. Okay, you can't see anything new at the first look, but look, the queen is eating. And look, no way. You see, last week the colony had just two or three larvae. Today, when I looked at them, I just saw the same two larvae. They were just bigger, so they were getting food but I couldn't see any new eggs. But now, finally, the queen has started laying eggs again. Thank God. Let's hope she'll continue to lay eggs and create a massive army. But now, let's not disturb them any further. Guys, aren't crushers super cool? It's so cute that crushers can't crush seeds. Isn't it cute that we have to crush it for them? Spec Creators aka Planet of the Lizards, thanks for the name suggestion, yet again. Also if you have any name suggestion for the queen, that'd be great too. Let's hope that crushers start crushing soon.